Hi everyone, welcome back to Cute Nerdy DIY. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cheap kawaii drinks coasters. So what you're going to need is these cork circles. You can get these on places like Amazon for really, really cheap. And the first step is to draw out whatever design you would like. So after you've done this, then you can get a cutting tool to cut round it. Now, if you want, you can ask a parent to help or an adult. That would definitely be wise if you're young. So I've cut out three here to show you and the next step to do is to paint them. Now I've used acrylic paint and the best idea is to paint them all white to start with so that when you paint your colour on that it stands out more. So for my designs I decided to do a unicorn, a peach and Rilakkuma, the bear. I thought these designs would look really super kawaii and I thought they'd be really cute as little drinks coasters. So once that's dried you can go over with acrylic paint in the colour that you want the base of your design to be. My first one was Rilakkuma which meant I needed to do a kind of brown shape and remember to paint around the outside as well. So for these I didn't actually paint the back but if you want then once everything's dried you can also go over the back to make everything nice all the way around. Now for my unicorn I wanted it to be white anyway so I just went straight in with drawing the details on. So as you can see I'm drawing the design of the unicorn on with pencil so you can easily rub it out if you make any mistakes. So once my base for Riyakuma had dried I could then draw on the details and start to paint the next step. I did do this in quite a thick layer because I didn't want the brown underneath to show through. So the next step, for any black I've actually used a kind of permanent marker sharpie pen. Now these are actually, they're not sharpies themselves, they're kind of like artist pens that I had. But they're only really cheap but you can easily use a sharpie as well. I just advise using these over acrylic paints because you can get a much steadier hand and they're a lot easier to use. So basically I was just drawing around the outline here which made him look really cute and really neat. So the next step was to do the same for my peach. I just had to draw some cute kawaii eyes on and just basically whatever face you want to put on it then you can do that here. I think the good thing about these is that they really didn't take long to make at all. So I went over the eyes with my Posca pen which gave it like cute little reflection. And then he was done. So next I drew the nose on with Rita Kuma which meant he was also done. And then it was just to finish my unicorn. So here they are all finished and all dried. The last step is to add some Mod Podge. Now Mod Podge is a really good sealer and as you can see it looks white but it actually dries completely clear. This is the type of thing that you can use to kind of put a waterproof protective layer on top of stuff. So like say on a jigsaw, that type of thing. If you put a layer of this on then once it's dried it will dry clear and also it will be waterproof. So that means that your design isn't going to rub off which is really cool. So once these are done, set them aside to dry. Now it'll probably dry within about half an hour. And there we go, all finished. So as you can see, the Mod Podge has dried on it and left a nice glaze and left it waterproof for all your drinks. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. There will be more squishy videos this week. 
But if you have any ideas in the comment section, then please let me know and I will see you in the next video.